Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to learn a whole bunch of different things about importing files. And what import means is we're going to use other tools that come with Python that are not immediately available in the code you run. So when we run code, uh, when we create a program, we have functions like print and length and absolute value and power and a whole bunch of other little functions that come along with Python. Every time you run Python, they're there. But there's actually a lot more out there than just these basic functions or basic methods, depending on how you want to look at them, if they're part of a class or not. And we haven't really talked about what classes are and what objects are. And when we get to object-oriented programming, you'll learn more about those. But don't worry, it doesn't keep you from actually using any of that stuff right now. You don't have to know what they are in order to use them. So when we're doing this stuff uh, with all these functions, uh, it's just part of a basic package that comes with Python. But actually, there's a whole bunch of libraries uh, out there that have modules in them. And we can import these. Okay, so what it is is, Imagine there's a library, and this library deals with uh, maybe internet stuff. So there's a whole library that deals with internet things, and you can import modules. And a module is just a file, just like this one. In fact, when you write a Python program, you're creating a file. So like my file name is import1, so this actually is a module. So these libraries, what they are, it's just a, a folder with a whole bunch of Python files in it. And each one of those files is a module. And inside each of those modules, there's a whole bunch of functions and things that we can use in our code. So none of that other stuff is actually included when you run Python. And you have to tell Python that you want to use it. So I'm going to give you a couple examples in this, in this, tutor in this tutorial on how you can import them and what you can do with them. So I'm going to start off with a pretty common library called the math library or math uh, module and in the math module uh, there are actually a whole bunch of different functions that we can use and these functions what they they're, they're pretty much any math thing that you want so I'm actually gonna pull up the documentation here so this is the Python documentation and in this documentation, this is for 3.52, so I know I was using uh, 3.4, but it's pretty much the same here. I mean, I can pull it up if we really want to. But this, uh, this document here shows you all the different functions that are available with the math thing. So we have like ceiling, which will round a number up, or floor, which rounds a number down, or factorial, which gives you the factorial of a value. Uh, we can do mod using, uh, I guess, fmod. Let's see, what does this do? Yeah, it's used when working with floating point numbers, and this is used when working with integers. They kind of work with both, but uh, we have all different things you can do in here. So exponentials and logs and uh, trigon uh, trigonometric functions and hyperbolic functions, even all these functions I have no idea how to use. You can also get things like pi. So if you import uh, the math uh, module, you can then use all of these things. Like if I want to run pi, I got pi right there. Or if I want to um, say I have a, a number and I want to round this number down, I can do that. Or if I want to round the number up, I can do that. Or if I want to get cosine, I can, I don't know, get cosine of 500. And this math module will let you do all sorts of math stuff. And there's, a, there's hundreds and thousands of different modules out there. And a lot of them are made by people just like you or myself. And we put them out there for other people to use. So the stuff that comes with Python, there's still tons of stuff that comes with Python that you probably have never seen or you probably won't ever see it all even if you spend you know five ten years programming in Python you'll, you'll never get to see all the stuff because there's just so much of it okay so math is one of those uh, we also have statistics so if you if you load the statistics module 
you can pull up things like mean and you can do 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 whoops what am i missing here oh i need uh, another there we go and this will take the mean of these numbers so if you remember back to functions we made our own mean function but you can actually find one right here or you can find the median and we'll tell you the median of these numbers so the statistics module lets you do all sorts of statistics related stuff okay so you can go look at these modules in the documentation and check out exactly all the cool things you can do now one way to import stuff is using this method so you can say import statistics and then you can do the dot but there's another way of doing it so let's say that in the math module I only want the the function for ceiling for to, so I always want to round my numbers up instead of down so if I do this from math import seal so what this does is it only imports one function not the rest of the stuff so why would you want this why would it matter well sometimes you're working with big programs and you need things to run really fast if you're importing all sorts of other stuff it can actually slow your program down and when you're trying to run it so it, you run the code and it has to load all this stuff in before it can actually run so your your program start time will take a lot longer just just having to wait for Python to go get this library and that library and put it all together for you to use by doing this it just has to grab that one function from that file and then that's it and if you want to pull more from one file you can actually uh, put a comma there and you can import two different functions from a file and this is important because some of these files some of these modules are huge I mean they they can be thousands of lines long because there's just so many different functions packed into them so now if I want to use these I would do print ceiling 5 point say 5.001 and print floor 5.99999 and I run this oh <laughs> floor okay I get five and six so this one rounds it down this one rounds it up and you notice I don't have that math dot on there and even if I try to do this math dot floor okay all right it's gonna say that math is not defined because even though I, I'm pulling stuff from the math uh, module I haven't actually pulled in the whole math module so I can't do math dot anymore alright so there's two different ways to do it one way you can import the whole module by just writing import and the name or the other way you can do it is by importing individual functions alright so now that we've done that I want to show you kind of a cool one this one's a little more fun than statistics and math and this is actually going to be pulling a web page off the internet. So to do that, you're going to grab this library. And in this library, you're going to pull uh, this module. Okay, so this is actually a multi-part one. So I'm saying from this library, so remember a library is just a whole folder of files. You're going to pull this module. So this module re request, this request is going to be an individual uh, file, a module. So I'm going to write that. So this is a library. And this is a module. And so from this, I'm going to import URL open. Okay. And URL open is a function that we're going to use. So to do this, I'm going to say with URL open, and then I'm going to put in a URL. So I'm going to say http www.google.com. All right. And I'm going to open it as response. So usually when you're using URL open, you're going to get a response from the server. So instead of using F for file, we're going to use response. And then I can say for line in response print line. All right, so when I do this, what's going to happen is 
it's going to go out to the Google server and it's going to pull the HTML from that server. Okay, so it's going to add that there. This is file. So if I run this, it takes a second, and then bam, you got this. So if you start looking through this, you see that this is an HTML file. And you can scroll through. Da, 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 da. There's all sorts of crazy stuff in here. Uh, this is all, you know, JavaScript, and there's probably some CSS mixed in here. And then there's some text in here, like you know, there's Gmail there as a link. I have no idea why this says fruit here. Doodle fruit games. Maybe there's a fruit game going on on the uh, front page of Google today. I'm not sure. Uh, alternatively, I could pull from my own website run this and give it some time and there we go so this is actually a bunch of stuff this is my my feed my comments and then if I come down here I'll probably find let's see where would it be oh maybe here I don't know looking around and this is gonna be some of my uh, my headers and things like that so this is actually pretty powerful and only four lines of code I can download any web page I want. Okay, so I thought this might be interesting for some people to see, just to see something different than doing math and statistics. Uh, if you have any questions or comments on this video, uh, let me know. In the next video, uh, we're gonna talk some more about importing and I'm gonna show you how to create your own module and how to import functions from that. So you're gonna kinda of see now how it works under the hood. All right, uh, see you in the next video.